believe that's right. Administer the oath, please. Mr. Callum, if you will stand and raise your right hand to be put on the oath, please. Troy Callum, called as a witness, being first duly sworn, was examined and testifies as follows. Yes. Thank you, sir. You may have a seat. And if you will adjust that microphone, and if you will please speak directly into it, state your first and last name and spell your first and last name. Turn your chair so you're facing directly the microphone and then move up. Troy Callum. That's good. Thank you. Your witness, ma'am. I'm sorry. Did you want the witness to spell his name? Yes. Spell your first name. T-R-O-Y-K-E-L-L-A-M. And spell your last name. K-E-L-L-A-M. Thank you. Your witness, ma'am. Good morning, Mr. Callum. Good morning. How old are you? 32. Where are you from originally? Baltimore, Maryland. Whereabouts in Baltimore? West. West Baltimore? Yes. Have you lived in Baltimore most of your life? All my life. Are you currently in the custody of the U.S. Marshals awaiting sentencing in a criminal case? Yes. What were you charged with in that case? Murder and racketeering. And was that charge based on your involvement in the Black Gorilla Family Gang, or BGF? Yes. Did you plead guilty in that case? Yes. Did you also plead guilty to murdering an individual named George Neely in furtherance of BGF? Yes. Is Mr. Neely also known as G-Bay? Yes. When you pled guilty, did you enter into a plea agreement with the government? Yes. And as part of that plea agreement, did you also agree to cooperate with law enforcement? Yes. Does part of your agreement with the government require you to testify truthfully as a witness in this case? Yes. What are you hoping to get out of testifying today? A clear conscience. Can you repeat that? A clear conscience. Are you also hoping to get some sentencing leniency? Yes. Does your eligibility for a sentencing reduction depend in any way on whether the defendants in this case are convicted or acquitted? No. Under your plea agreement, what would happen if the government found out that you exaggerated? I would get nothing. Has anyone made you any guarantees about what your sentence will be in this case? No. Who is ultimately responsible for determining your sentence? The judge. When you pled guilty in this case, Mr. Callum, was that your first criminal conviction? No. Okay, I want to start at the beginning. Were you convicted of possession with intent to distribute heroin in 2007? Yes. Were you also convicted of possession with intent to distribute narcotics in 2008? Yes. And in 2014, were you convicted of attempting to distribute narcotics? Yes. And then in January 2015, were you arrested by the Baltimore Police Department for the murder of George Neely, also known as G-Bay? Yes. Is that the murder you said you pled guilty to as part of your federal case? Yes. When you were first arrested for that murder, did you participate in an interview with a BPD homicide detective? Yes. Was that interview recorded? Yes. Did you tell the truth during that interview? No. Why were you not truthful during that interview? I was shocked I was locked up for it. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Surprised, didn't expect to get locked up for it. Felt remorseful, felt bad. Have you met with law enforcement officers on several occasions since then? Yes. Have you now told law enforcement officers the truth about your involvement in that murder? Yes. Can you explain to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury why you killed Mr. Neely? I was ordered to. And who ordered you to kill him? Uncle Mark. Who's Uncle Mark? A Bush member. And you referred to a Bush member. What is a Bush member? A high-ranking BGF member. What would have happened to you if you didn't follow Uncle Mark's order? I would have became the mission. What does it mean to become the mission? Means if you don't complete the mission, you order to, you become it. Which means if I didn't kill a person, I was going to be killed regardless, just as well as him. Mr. Callum, are you still in BGF today? No. Why not? I mean, you grow up, you get mature. BGF never gave me nothing. 
If and when you get out of prison, are you going to return to BGF? No. When did you first join BGF? 2007. And where were you at the time? Baltimore City Jail. Did you become a full-fledged member of the BGF right away? No. What was your status in the gang as of 2007 when you first joined? A fox. What is a fox? Someone that's not fully a full-fledged member. He going through the training, the observation. Did you have a sponsor when you joined? Yes. Who was that? G-Bay staff over. And G-Bay is the individual you said whose real name is George Neely. Yes. What did you have to do in order to join BGF? Had to learn the rules, the 33s, 32s, the silver fox oath, show my heart that I can carry out certain things, extortions, things of that nature. What do you mean by extortion? Pressing up on people. And was that in the jail? Yes. And so what would you press up on them for? Drugs, money, whatever was needed. And what would happen if they didn't give you the drugs or money? They'd get harmed down to them. Why did you join BGF? It's like a second family. It's a brotherhood. Did you eventually become a full-fledged member of BGF? Yes. When was that? 2008. And were you still in the Baltimore City Jail at the time? Yes. Did you take an oath when you joined? Yes. Can you recite the oath for us now, or as much of it as you can remember? Should I be untrue and forsake the chosen few? This oath shall kill me. Shall I become lag and discipline in times of strife and neglect my brothers? This oath shall kill me. If I do harm or allow harm to come to my brothers, this oath shall kill me. If at any time I refuse or deny my brothers, this oath shall kill me. If I reveal the sworn secrets of this oath, this oath shall kill me. And you mentioned earlier that you also had to learn the rules, which you referred to as the 22s and 33s. Is that right? Yes. Can you give us some examples of the 22s and 33s? If you ordered to take care of a mission, you do not carry it out, you should be killed, become the mission. Is there a rule against talking to the police? Yes. Is there a rule requiring the payment of dues? Yes. Are there repercussions if you break the BGF rules? Yes. What are those repercussions called? Depends which one you break, but it's all sanctions. What types of sanctions are there? You can get your body beat, you get a universal, get beat totally, or you can get killed, terminated. What is a universal? Beat all over your body. So it's a more severe beating? Yes. And who carries out the sanctions? Other BGF members. When you first became a full-fledged member in BGF, what was your rank? For soldier. Did there come a time in 2010 when you were released from the Baltimore City Jail? Yes. Where did you go? Back round my way. And where's around the way? South Baltimore. Did you say South Baltimore? Yes. Did you eventually become a member of a BGF regime in that area? Yes. Which regime was that? Uncle Mark regime. Uncle Mark MG. Where was that regime located? Pratt and Payson. Pratt and Payson? Yes. Approximately, when was it that you joined that BGF regime? When I fully got into it, it was about 2014. Was the Pratt and Payson PGF regime involved in criminal activities on the street? Yes. What sort of criminal activities? Drug dealing, robbery. What was your initial rank in the Pratt and Payson BGF regime? Finance. And what were your responsibilities as? What were your responsibilities in finance? Collecting dues, making sure payments was paid. Did you have any role with respect to the drug dealing in the neighborhood? Yes. What was that? I supplied the drugs. You mentioned collecting dues. What were members required to pay in the way of dues? Which I was set. Sometimes it could be 20, sometimes it could be 40. And what did the dues consist of? How did members make their money? By any means necessary, some roll, some sell drugs. Did you eventually climb the ranks in BGF? Yes. What other ranks did you come to hold? Came the overseer. And what is the overseer? 
pretty much he oversee everything that's going on and report it back to the Bush member. Was there ever a point that you were the commander? Yes. <laughs>